guys, I'm John. Welcome back if you've been here before. <laughs> and if you are brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. We'd love it if you'd like to stick around. Check out our previous content, <laughs> any future content, and just hit the little subscribe button just down there. Absolutely, yeah. So today we're back with another restaurant review from our last trip. Yeah, we are. I like these. Yeah, we say that every day. <laughs> I do, one. I do, yeah. Um, but this is for Samar. Yes. So we accidentally booked this again. Yeah. And we say accidentally because it was an accident. Yeah. I think I knew what we were booking. Oh, and John was a little confused. Yeah, I was confused. There was, we, it's, it's an R, so there's three restaurants in Animal Kingdom-ish, and I thought it was a different restaurant than the one we'd done previously, and because we, we'd done Sonar before. Yeah. Um, so I thought we were booking a different one <laughs> until yeah. we had the reservation. I'm like, how long have we been there? <laughs> well, we're going to yeah. make most of our review on <laughs> the last trip, and yeah. um, maybe we'll mention the previous trip yeah. briefly, but it will be mostly on our last trip. Um, so we'll start with location. Okay, as always, yeah. I mean, like I say, location is a bit of a strange one because it is where it is, like we always mention. Um, but obviously, Sonar, you if you stay in the Animal Kingdom like we were, you had to get um, the shuttle bus over to Kanani mm -hmm. Village. Kanani. Um, what's, yeah, easy enough, and it is where it is. And once you're in Kanani, it's as easy, yeah. Yeah, so it is, I mean, the Animal Kingdom Lodge is one of the furthest out resorts yeah so it's easy if you're staying on resort um if you're not it could be a little bit trickier i mean it could be i mean when we went the first time 2015 we we obviously wouldn't stay in animal kingdom then and we, we drove it and it was yeah. a bit more a bit more hassle but it wasn't if you had a car it, it was it wasn't too bad but then if you didn't have a car i suppose it's a bit, it's a bit, more, a bit yeah. more hassle and also kadani village is a lot smaller than the animal kingdom lodge lodge yeah um so once you are there you know you're there for just dinner really there's yeah. not much else going on especially in the evening when it's darker you can't really see any of the animals no so you know there's that to consider as yeah. well yeah yeah but i mean if you pop over to animal kingdom you could have done the smalls and seen the animals and yeah. stuff so you know you could make the evening of it if you wanted to yeah you know quite easy yeah so i gave it a three just um i think if we were just basing it on where we were staying then obviously it would have been a four or a five but considering like in the whole of Walt Disney yeah. World, I gave it a three because it is a little bit inconvenient. Okay, well, I gave it a four based on where we were staying, you know. Yeah. And if you had a car, it's not a massive issue, really. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, so, our next category, as always, is atmosphere. Yep. Um, so, the Sanaa so restaurant is like kind of African y inspired. Yeah. Um, it's definitely unique in that sense. So, it does feel. But it feels somewhere that you somewhere not not Disney. Yeah, you kind of feel sense. like you could be in the middle of a savanna. Yeah. In Africa, but you're not. You're in the middle of Florida. Yeah. What's what's if, really cleverly done? Yeah. You know, when you look out your window and there's animals there. If it's not too dark, and you can see them, and and so it, it does feel that that sort of peaceful Africa like you say feel to it. Yeah, and it definitely doesn't feel. It's not noisy in any way. Not really. No. Um, you know. It's not too crammed in. <laughs> no, no. I mean, we'll, we'll mention that in a minute, probably. But um, no, no, there's other restaurants that you feel a bit more claustrophobic than than this one, maybe. Yeah, definitely. And it does feel to me, it feels like genuine, like African. -y well, yeah, like we said on other ones, we have never been to Africa, so we only can base it on how it feels now and how we would imagine it to feel. Um, but yeah, definitely, it did, did feel genuine. Yeah. Um, the only issue I would say with the atmosphere, we had a wonky table. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a. It was a. I think is this was it a same similar table we had last time. We sat on the same table both trips. Exactly yeah. the was same it a table. One? Mm -hmm. And I think both times this particular table was wobbly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Maybe all the tables in Africa are wobbly, <laughs> and it is genuine. No. Yeah. So <laughs> it, that was a bit of annoying, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, it, 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 it wasn't a massive issue. It was just okay. You know, balance and actually. Mm. Yeah. But based on like the genuine feel and the uniqueness, I gave it a four. I felt the atmosphere was cool. Yeah. No, I think for me, I was, uh, the table sort of spoiled a bit for me. I, I shouldn't have done, but it was a bit, you know, awkward. So you give it three point five. Um, but the atmosphere itself, as in African feel, like, yeah, like, it was really good. Right, so next up is food quality. Okay. So, 
I want to start on a good note. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to start with the bread surface, um, which was amazing. Bread surface was delicious, yeah, yeah, really nice. So you get all different types of naan bread. Yeah. Um, one of them is spicier, and garlic. then one's garlic, is one's it? garlic, a plain, plain one. Yeah. I think you get four, maybe three or four. Yeah. And then you get a whole selection of sauces to dip. Dips, yeah. Yeah, and. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned this before, actually. But food you can dip is my favourite oh, yeah. kind of food. It's a thing. Yeah, like crisps, chicken nuggets, yeah. carrot sticks. Yeah. Anything you can dip into something else. Well, baking bread off and just dipping it. Yeah, I love that. Ideal. I love yeah. that. So bread service was already going to be a win for me, but actually, I think you get eleven dips. Um, it was nine or eleven. Yeah, it was, I don't know. No, no. I can't remember. Yeah. But like, there was only two on that entire tray. That I didn't really like. No, yeah, I'll agree with that. I mean, I, I don't mind spicy foods, and there's only two that was really spicy. Um, so, no, I, I, most of them was, was really nice. I mean, enjoyed most of them. Yeah, so if you are going to Sanaa, then I would definitely 100% recommend the bread service. Absolutely, yeah. So, let's move on to our entrees. <laughs> Go on um, then. So, I, I did, didn't know what to pick. So, the food on the menu for um, Sanaa, other than the steak, is all very exciting. <laughs> um, it's obviously African inspired, there's lots of fruits and spices yeah. involved and I, I don't I don't eat spicy food, I just don't like no, it. No. Um, it burns my mouth, I don't <laughs> think it's tasty. So I tried to pick things that weren't going to be too spicy, yeah. um, but I also don't like fruit in my, like I don't like sweet and savoury together. No. And a lot of the meat dishes had like cranberries or whatever. Yeah, no, a lot a lot of meat had fruit with it. Yeah. What what we don't really get or maybe but maybe, maybe just it's just on us, you know, I don't like fruit with my main diva. No. I just we, I just don't understand it. I just don't you know we don't not get, saying it's wrong, it's no, just we don't like it. It just and, and that's on us really, that's what we said. I, I thought we were picking someone else and we picked this restaurant by mistake. Um so yeah no it's it's if it, if you were sort of what you like you're gonna love it there. Yeah. Um but it's not wasn't your No, so I did um the journey it's called and you get to pick like smaller plates. Yeah. Um so I had the butter chicken, the braised beef um, some vegetables in yeah. a, like a curry kind of sauce and plain rice yeah. um, and the beef was too spicy for me and the vegetables were too spicy for me yeah. the butter chicken was nice the rice <laughs> was nice but really you know I mean, it, it's probably my fault, but everything was a little bit too spicy. Yeah, though. I mean, that was a risk we knew yeah. we would take before we went there. Yeah. Now, spicy doesn't bother me. Um, and I think your first 2015 when we went out the first time, I think we picked it because a spicy doesn't bother me and we wanted to see animals. Um, this time I had a lamb shank, and I love lamb shank, and it was cooked really, really well, really nice. The only problem with it was the bits what they put with it. Uh, it was like lentils, lentils and beans, beans, and, and I, I don't know, I just don't really. It's not that doesn't that's not me. I think I would much prefer your your meal. Yeah, we were just discussing <laughs> if we'd have just swapped meals, then we probably would be fine because I eat lentils and beans as it is. Yeah, but we didn't. So and, and I would eat a spicy curry or, or something. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. If we thought about it at a time, then I think we both would have enjoyed the other one's meal better. Yeah. Um, but as it was, I can say a lamb was very very cooked, was really nice and it was cooked really amazingly. But unfortunately, what let it down was the bits what came with it, and I can't remember what it was called. But it, it, it was like crushed beans and maybe I don't know really lentils and stuff. But I, I don't know what it was, but whatever it came with, it wasn't the nicest for me. Yeah. So I do want to just quickly mention that obviously these are our opinions, Absolutely. and yeah. the food was cooked very well. The beef was Absolutely. really tender, the chicken was delicious, the yeah. rice was nice and... The lamb was uh, delicious. But the f And it was very, very flavourful. I just didn't like those flavours. Absolutely. So that's what my score is going to be based on, on, yeah. on what I thought, not... Like, the food was nice, I didn't particularly like it. Yeah. So I gave it a 2.5. Yeah, I'll, I'll just echo, echo, echo that. I mean... It's on us. It's it's us. Our taste of food. The, the food was cooked amazingly, and other next person might absolutely love it. It just not our taste, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I gave it a three point five as well. 
So you, I give it a 2.5. I'll give it a 3.5. Okay, well, that's seven. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next is customer service. Yes. Um, so I don't we don't really remember the customer service too. Like we remember bits of it obviously, but we don't remember anything <laughs> like particularly negative or particularly positive happening. No. So which is supposedly I suppose good. I was, yeah, but I, th I think because we don't remember it, obviously it was good and, and it was good. It was probably just fine. And yeah, but it wasn't we had other places, other restaurants we've been to where you can think, oh, I remember that, he was, he was amazing. Yeah. Or she was amazing. And we haven't, it wasn't bad, but anyway, like I said, but many a time in these videos, I don't think you get bad customer service in, in, in Florida, Orlando, America. I just don't, it wasn't outstanding like other ones else was. Else. It's yeah. probably done an amazingly job. Yeah. It just wasn't the X Factor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we did have a little bit of a wait. It wasn't really a bother for us because um, we've only really complained before when there's nowhere to go and sit or there's no yeah. cars. But we could go up into the lobby of the Kadani village with the little buzzer thing. That was nice. It was nice, nice to sit up there in nice comfy seats. And, yeah. and, and you know, it wasn't cramped. And we said, will it work upstairs in the seats? And it did. And it and wasn't really waiting a lot, maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't by the time we sat down and, and you know, I think we were looking on the Disney app or something. Um, it wasn't it wasn't too too much of a wait yeah um and it was nice to sit somewhere comfortable so yeah um we did just want to mention we're not sure this is the correct heading <laughs> to put this under um but the um the tables so obviously we go as a couple yeah so we get a two-person table which is fine normally but for sanar the table is the, the tables are particularly small yeah I, I, that's the trouble with sanar we only got the bread service and two mains because obviously we didn't eat all the bread before our mains came out and we wanted to keep yeah, it. Yeah, so you've got the big tray of sauces, the tray with the naan breads, your own little plates yeah. for your own naan bread, yeah. your drinks, yeah. then your mains come out. Yeah, and we had a woogie table and it was, sort of it was <laughs> Yeah, everything was a little bit wobbly and, yeah. it, and as well, like there are some lovely seats in um, Sanaa, yeah. like there's booths, there's kind of half booths, yeah. you know, and we uh, the table that we had previously and this table which is the same table yeah. is kind of shoved against a wall in the middle of a wall yeah break. that's the problem we have with a lot of restaurants because there's a tour that's going and, and you understand why the restaurants do it you just want yeah. to get as many people into your restaurant as possible but sometimes because you go with tea and it's more noticeable in this restaurant you do feel a bit less in the middle of uh, the middle of the room and you just sort of there to make your numbers up really um and and i think it I, normally it wouldn't bother us it yeah was... you can't really enjoy the atmosphere and the theming because you're not really involved in the atmosphere and the theming yeah. at all you just kind of sat next to a wall yeah and another table so you can't really you know in the booths all the booths are pretty colors they've yeah. got nice lighting Absolutely. or you by the window and you can see yeah well nothing at night time i suppose yeah. but you know yeah but i suppose give it benefit of doubt if we mentioned it to someone perhaps we would have waited a bit longer but maybe had a better table yeah i think maybe we should have just said oh do you mind but then we just wanted to sit down and have dinner yeah yeah like, like i said it, it it was on us as a bad pick because I always think we were picking some, a different restaurant rather than the same restaurant we already done. Yeah. So, you know, we we, we said all these previously or not, with the last time, and maybe if I realised I was going back to the same place, we might have changed it. Yeah. So, um, that last point, just scratch it because it's not included in the... No, no, yeah. So, because I can't remember anything negative or positive, I'd give it a smack bang three. Okay, yeah, also even at three. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it wasn't it wasn't bad, it wasn't amazing, it was it was in the middle, it was it was it was fine, you mm. know. Okay, so theming. Yeah, I mean theming in these restaurants are amazing. Yeah. You, you, and I don't think of a, a restaurant in Disney that is badly themed. Uh, I think it feels like it should do what the theme they're going for. Like it's Africa feel. It feels, you know, how it, how we would imagine it would to feel yeah you know there's a big tree painted on the ceiling there's the details of every little detail you can pick out and, oh that's really smart that's really nice. and i think that's what it did do so well at. yeah i really like the beading at the front desk um it did look like all of those beads were at some point hand painted yeah, and i thought absolutely. that was really nice and i liked the um cast member outfits i think they're yeah really no cool. yeah definitely well, don't really cool. do you get some yeah 
but it was really smart. Yeah, and then even like on the way to the toilet, there's a little waiting area, and you've got all these little alcoves, and they look yeah. really pretty. Well, even the lights had uh, that drum. These, uh, the lights were sort of done to I don't know what the drums called, but you know the one they hit with the, hit yeah. the, the hands. Um, they all look like that. What, what like I say, all the details like that. What we missed mentioned is what they do good. Yeah, and so Seaman got the highest score of the entire <laughs> review for me and I gave it a five. Yeah, also five. I mean, that's what you do good. Yeah, um, so value for money. This one is obviously tricky, because if we're, you know, for me it wasn't because I didn't eat a lot of it. No, yeah. But I think because it was cooked so well, so like, John's lamb was $31. Yeah. Um, lamb's quite expensive anyway, so I do think that's reasonable. Yeah, and like I said, the lamb was really nice. And I ate all my lamb. I just didn't eat the, the bits. Were come, yeah, yeah. Come with. but that was on me because I didn't like that. But the next person might love that. So if you're eating all your meal, then you think, well, it is value for money because, you know, it's what I, it's what I got what I liked. Yeah, and the journey is $28, which I think is... You know, it's a good deal. Yeah. Um, and I think for one table service credit, you know, it, it's not a bad deal. But if you don't eat it, then it yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, was it a good dining credit? I think not for me. No. Yeah, fair enough. I, I mean, I think it is maybe at lunchtime. Yeah, we, we've had a look at the lunch menu and we think that maybe lunchtime would be a better fit for us. Yeah, I think I think lunchtime, because then equally if you get a table by, by, the, by the windows and you can see yeah, animals, you can see, obviously sit there eating it. And that's what I thought we were doing, what we were thinking. I did not restaurant where you could see animals, but lunch menu does seem a bit more arse type of food. Well, even if not, you can fall back on a burger, which, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's they do like pizza or naan bread, yeah. like kind of meals, and yeah, lunch does seem like a better fit for us. I think so. So I think at lunchtime it would probably be a value for money for me. I think if you if you like the kind of food that they're serving, yeah. then it obviously it is value for money. Yeah. I think because of the theming is so good, Yeah. if the food was a little bit more my style, yeah. then I would say yeah, but I don't think it is. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I, I, I would say it is value for money. Um, because I just got to disagree with Emma. <laughs> but no, I, 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 think, <laughs> I, I think it is. But I understand where you come from. I mean, if you like that food, it's fantastic and, you, and you're going to really enjoy it. Because it's just not our, yeah. our type of food, like you keep mentioning, we didn't enjoy it as much. And that with the table. And it's not a big deal, and we could have said something, but I think I think just... we ended up folding up some napkins actually <laughs> yeah. and trying to fix it ourselves, and we couldn't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just think with with, with with both of it, it just sort of slightly ruined it for us, maybe. Um, but no, I think if we get all of that, I think if he was going, I think it would be value for for a a credit and. Yeah, can I can only like I can only review it on what yeah, yeah. I think and. For, for me, because I don't like spicy food, I only yeah. really eat rice and butter chicken. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. So, like I said. Although I'm... the desserts, they had a really, really good selection of exciting <laughs> desserts. So that was nice because we didn't really see that everywhere. No. A no. lot of places were like cheesecake, chocolate, something, and there's something else. I really think if you swap meals, yeah. you would have liked it better. Probably. I really, really do. I think you would, that's your type of, what you would like. Um, and, and I think I would have liked it more if I had what you had. So yeah, maybe I gave it um, I gave it a three because I felt bad giving it like a one or a two <laughs> just based on my yep. preferences. So I think a three is fair because it's not for me, but it might be for you. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I equally agree with that, but I went slightly higher for um, because I think you know, like, like Emma said, I think if. If you like that stuff, then you like it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. 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 So would we visit again? I would give it one more chance, <laughs> but maybe for lunch, because I was kind of I was I thought was booking something that a different restaurant in Animal Kingdom where you could eat your dinner and see your animals, um, which I guess you can at lunchtime. Yeah. So so yes, I would. But maybe for lunch. Okay. I said no <laughs> originally. Um, and then we did have a quick look at the lunch yeah. menu. And because there's no point in me saying yeah and then not eating yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's yeah. a waste. Um, so, but actually, the lunch menu does look way more up my street. It looks like it's, you know, you've got 
more choices yeah. that aren't, because a lot of it is curry. Yeah. Or yeah, curried yeah. on the dinner menu, and there's no way I'm going to attempt that because no, I don't like it. That's fair enough. But, but, but lunch, I would. Yeah. The, the trouble, the, the point is, it's such a nice place to be. Yeah. And it's such a nice place to overlook at your savannah on the animals. If the food is 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 more of our cup of tea, then we'd be really enjoying to see animals eating the, eating food. Mm. Um, so if the the lunch meal was more our type of food, then I think we would enjoy it. Yeah. A lot more. All right, so now you get one more <laughs> shot. <laughs> Prove yourself. Okay. So eight more school. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. myself, it's all that sass. <laughs> yeah, so my overall score was a 3.3. .3. I think this kind of worked out a little bit higher than I would have given it out of five, but because the theming is so good, that's obviously what brought the score up. So. Yeah, yeah, I went slightly higher. When well, my mind came out to 3.8, mm -hmm. um, what I was happy with because it wasn't bad, it was just uh, uh, we didn't like a type of food, and that's on us rather than on the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you guys been to Sanaa, if you liked it, then please let us know down in the comments. Are you a wuss like me and you don't like spicy food at all? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so let us know what you guys think down yeah. below in the comments. If you've stuck around this far and you're not yet subscribed, then please do just down in the corner there. And Absolutely. we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.